this is the majority of my MAC blushes and MSFs. These are ones that are not depotted. So they're ones I don't necessarily use all that often or I just haven't depotted yet. So we're gonna go, so we're gonna go through these and see which ones I'm keeping and which ones I'm gonna get rid of. I'm doing this differently than my other declares because you guys wanted to see the product more and less of my face. So I'm gonna start back here. This first blush is called Small Vanity. Uh, my friend Laura got this for me when I had mine stolen and so she was on the hunt for it. It's one of my all time favorite blushes so I'm definitely keeping that. I also had a subscriber send me Small Vanity as well so I'm keeping both of these because it's one of my favorite blushes from MAC. So Small Vanity is staying. The next is a Riri Collection blush. This one is the Riri and MAC in the color Bad Girl, Bad Girl Gone Good. And it is a satin and it's a really pretty kind of peachy terracotta color and i don't know i really don't wear this color blush too often so i'm going to set this to the side and see if i'm going to keep it um if i have something else similar i will probably get rid of one of them so i just don't wear this color too often so i'm going to set this one aside I'm not sure if i'm gonna get rid of it yeah i do love the packaging though Okay, next is another limited edition. This is the Betty and Veronica collection, and it is in the color Prom Princess, and it's a really bright, vivid magenta color, and this is a satin blush, and it's just a really pretty magenta. Really beautiful. Again, not a color I wear very often, but I got it because it was limited edition, and I love the packaging. So again, I'm gonna set this one aside, and I don't know. I'll either keep it because the packaging is cute or I will sell it in a block sale. The next is another limited edition. This one is in Ripe for Love and it's a really pretty orangey peach color and I do really like this one and I have worn it quite often. It's a little bit more of a brighter corally orange so I will keep that one because I do like this one a lot and this one is Ripe for Love. The next blush is called Stay By Me and it's one of their Pro Longwear blushes. This is a really pretty light peachy color. I do love this color a lot. It's a very smooth formula and it's a really pretty light dusty peach. So I will keep that one and that one is called Stay By Me. This next one is called Pink Tea. This was a limited edition color. I got it at a CCO and I love this color. It's a light like dusty pink. It's beautiful on the cheeks. It's one of my favorites. So I will keep that one and that one is Pink Tea. This next one is called Royal Sunset, and this was also limited edition. It's a little bit of a brighter, like neon coral. Really beautiful, I like this one a lot. It's really great for the springtime, so I will keep that one. And that one is Royal Sunset. This next one is called Worldly Wealth, and this one is a, I don't know, kind of a dusty bronze color. And it was limited edition. I honestly just never wear this, so I think I will get rid of this color. I bought it online without seeing swatches, and when I got it, I just forgot to return it. So that one I will be getting rid of. I think this would be pretty on like deeper skin tones, but just does not look good on me. All right, this next one is called Fun Ending, and I think it was also limited edition blush, and it is another light kind of peach toned Blush. This one has a little bit more pink to it, so I will keep that one. I do like this one a lot. So that one is Fun Ending. This one here is called Pink Cult. This was also limited edition. Another one of my favorite blushes. Another dusty pink color. And this one is so beautiful. It's got a little bit of lavender to it, and it's seriously so stunning. So that one I'm definitely keeping. So the next one is an ex Extra Dimension blush, and this is in Blazing Hot. I love their Extra Dimension blushes. And this one's a really pretty... Uh, orange, but I really like this color. It's a light enough orange that's not super bright, but these are so great. They're pigmented, but they're buildable, so you don't get too much right off the bat, so I really like that one. Keeping that. This next one is also an extra dimension in Auto Erotic, I think, and this one is a peachy pink color. Really pretty. It's got a little bit more of a red hue to it. Really beautiful. Love this one. Haven't actually worn it yet, so I'm going to keep that, see if I wear it. If I don't, I'll get rid of it the next declutter. Here is a mineralized skin finish blush. This one is in Azalea in the Afternoon. Really love this one. It's a beautiful light pink. 
These have a beautiful sheen to them and they look so pretty on the cheeks. So their mineralized blushes are another one of my favorites. So I'm gonna keep that. Another mineralized blush, this was in Dainty. And this one is a coral, I think. I tried to depot it and it was like not a successful situation. This one is very similar to Azalea in the afternoon. It's just a little bit more pink. So if you couldn't get Azalea in the afternoon, try Dainty because it is quite similar. So this next one is another mineralized blush in Love Thing. I do not like the packaging on the new mineralized products, but this is a beautiful, like a burgundy with some gold sheen. It's a little bit of a more dramatic blush, but it's so beautiful. I would definitely wear something like this over this bright fuchsia. So you use this sparingly, but it's so beautiful. And then when you blend it out, it just gives you a perfect, like fall, winter look to the cheeks. So I really like that one. This next one is an interesting color. This is called Lavish Living, and it's a very like purpley, dark plum blush, but I love it. So you gotta be careful because it can look a little muddy and dirty if you, if you apply it too much, but it's a really unique blush. I don't have anything like it, so I'm gonna keep that one. And that was limited edition. This next one is called Just a Wisp, and it's a really light baby pink color. I know a lot of people use this as blush toppers for like a highlight. And as you can see, it's a very, very light pink, very, very, very pretty. So I'm gonna keep that one. This next one is called Pressed Amber. And this is a little bit more of a bronzy colored blush. Really pretty though. I like this one more in the summertime because it's a little bit more of a um, bronze look. Or you can even use it as like a contour shade, but it's really beautiful. So that one is Pressed Amber. The next color I have here is New Romance, and this is another mineralized blush. This one's a light peachy pink color. Honestly, I'm, this is probably more of a collection video because I have a hard time parting with MAC products, but this is beautiful. It's a lot like just a wisp, but a little bit more peachy toned. So that one is New Romance. This next one is Petal Power. This one's like a bright magenta with a golden sheen to it. It reminds me of like a better version of NARS Orgasm, where you get that really pretty peachy pink with the golden sheen. So that one is Petal Power. The next one I have is one of my favorites. This is Lured to Love, and this is a light peach, but it looks so stunning on the cheeks. It's got a tiny bit of pink in there, but it's a really pretty peach blush. Love that one. So that one was limited edition and it's Lured to Love. This next one is one of my favorite extra dimensions and it's at dusk. You can see I've already worn off the little waves on it. This one is just seriously so beautiful on the cheeks. You definitely need to build it up because it's very light, but it becomes the most beautiful, like pink natural sheen to your cheeks. So that one is at dusk. Please Yourself. And it's a really pretty kind of burgundy pink. Now these feel a little bit different um, than the other mineralized ones do, but this is a gorgeous shimmery, pink blush. Do you see that? So pretty. I need to pull this one out for the fall. And then this other one is called Uplifting and it's a more coppery beigey peach toned. Really, really beautiful. So if you do not like shimmery blushes, you will not like these, but if you like a little shimmer to your cheeks, you will love these. Okay, so I think I am going to end up selling these in a blog sale because I just don't think I'm gonna wear them. I've never worn them since I've had them and I just bought them because the packaging was super cute. So I'm going to pass these ones on and also this one. So I got rid of three, which is not too bad. So three limited edition ones I will be selling in a blog sale. Now we're gonna move to mineralized skin finishes, which I have a lot of. The first is this baby right here. This is Whisper of Guilt. I used to have two of these and I ended up selling them in a blog sale. I need to pull these out because they're seriously such beautiful highlighters. Whisper of Guilt's a beautiful golden one. I heard that the dupe for this is Gilded Honey from Laura Mercier. Beautiful, I think I'm gonna pull that one out and use that this week. The other one is Superb, which is more of a rose gold color, a little bit more champagne-y, less bright gold. Really beautiful, very frosted. These are a great, great highlighter. If you like a dramatic highlight, you will love these. They also make fantastic eyeshadows. Okay, the next is a limited edition, and this is called Seen to be Seen, and this is actually more of a blush. So you have two different colors. You can swirl them together, use them separately, and it's a really beautiful kind of burgundy bronze 
that oh my gosh that's so pretty this would make a beautiful um, eyeshadow as well so it's a really pretty burgundy with a little bit of a like orangey gold duochrome so that's seen to be seen and I will be keeping this next one is porcelain pink and this is a really beautiful kind of beigey with a pink duochrome to it another beautiful highlight this is also limited edition um, I know that it looks different there was a new version that looks a tiny bit different than this but it's a little bit more of a subtle highlight but I'll keep that one as well this one is MAC Light Scapade. Beautiful for fair skin. I love this. It's a little bit more of a silvery white gold highlighter. So it's great for light fair skin. And as you can see there, it's just a really beautiful subtle highlight. So if you want something subtle, this would be a great one. And this one is Light Scapade. This one I've had for a long time. This one is called Perfect Topping. And it is one of my favorite highlights. You can see it's got pink and beige and silver veining in it it's well loved and this one is really pretty again this one's a little bit not as subtle as light scapade because it does have a little bit more of a sheen but it is subtle compared to like superb or whisper of guilt so that one is perfect topping okay this is another limited edition one and this one is in semi-precious pearl this one is beautiful you have the light color on the outside and then you have this beautiful like burgundy gold color on the inside which obviously you can wear them separately if you, ooh, that just happened. you could wear them separately if you wanted to or you mix them together and you get more of a blush color like a burnt copper blush so you could really wear them want any of these three ways so I will keep that one this next one is called cheeky bronze and this is permanent and it's a beautiful shimmering bronze color. This one is definitely something I have to wear in the summertime when I have a tan, but it's very like copper looking. It looks really pretty um, dusted over tan skin. So I don't use it too often, but it is very beautiful. I'm debating whether or not to get rid of this one and just keep um, the global glow, or I think that's what the other one is called, because it's a little lighter. So I'm gonna put this over here to possibly pass up because it's very rare that I can even wear that color. The next is another mineralized skin finish, and this one is in Fairly Precious, and this is their extra dimension. And this one is a little bit of a darker, like coppery peach color, which I'd probably use more as a blush. I'm debating whether or not to get rid of this one because it's just too dark for me to use as a highlighter. So I'm going to move this over to this pile to possibly get rid of because it's just too dark for me but one that I will keep in the extra dimension is definitely defined and this is a beautiful like two-toned highlighter and I love both of them one is more peach and one is more um, silver but they're both really pretty or you can combine them together if this ever comes out again I highly recommend it and it's called definitely defined okay I have another center of attention this is has obviously a gold kind of a pinky white gold color or you can mix them together and you get a little bit more of a golden shade. I think I'm gonna pass this one on because I don't ever use a gold color like that. I have other highlighters that are similar and I'll probably never wear it mixed like that. So this one I'm going to pass up. And this one is called Center of Attention. This next one is called Adored and this one is a, it's really loud. This next one is called Adored and this one is beautiful. It's a light kind of peachy color. I like this as a blush topper because it gives a little bit of a sheen, but it's not bright enough to be a highlighter, not dark enough to be a blush. So I love this one. Adored, I will be keeping that. Okay, next is Stereo Rose. Now this was like a cult favorite for a long time and when they re-released it, I picked it up and it's a really pretty peach color. This one I would use as a blush. Really beautiful. Um, if you if you can get your hands on this one when it's re-released, I highly recommend it. So that one's Stereo Rose. I'll keep that one. This next one is Semi-Precious Crystal Pink. And this one's kind of one you just have to mix all together. And this one is like a beige highlight. Really pretty. I'll keep that one. I like these toned highlights a lot. This next one is called Perfectly Poised. And it's got like a gold on the outside and then a light champagne on the inside. And when you mix them together, you kind of get like this light peachy copper. I'm going to pass this one up because I just don't ever use anything that is that golden on my skin. Except for eyeshadow. And I don't need that big of eyeshadow, so I will pass that one along. This one, I have two of these. 
Um, this one is in pink buttercream and it's a really pretty, this is like one of their beauty powders, pearl matte face powder. And this is a really pretty highlight. It's a very, very light pink and it looks so pretty as a highlight on your cheekbones. Really love that one, I'm keeping that. This other one is called In For A Treat and it's like a light yellow and then it has like some green in it. And this is a really pretty kind of yellow gold. So I'm gonna keep that. They're both super subtle, but I really do like these. I have two from the Betty and Veronica. This one is called Veronica's Blush. Now this light pink is the most beautiful light highlight for fair skin. Um, this was, like I said, limited edition, but that color is so pretty as a highlight. Or you can mix these together and get a little bit of a brighter pink. So I'm keeping that. And then this one is called Flatter Me, and this is a orangey version of that. And this I use as a blush, like a light PG blush. So keeping that one as well. Okay, and the last two beauty powders that I have are these two right here. This first one is called Pearl Blossom, and it's a really light pink. And this is a really pretty highlight. I need to use this as like a blush topper. Really light pink, so that one I'm keeping. I think that's gorgeous. And this other one is called Shell Pearl, and this one's a peachy one. Again, something you'd use as a blush. I'm a little confused by these face powders because they're just not super pigmented, but this would be another like really pretty light blush. So I'm gonna keep that one as well. This one is in So Sweet, So Easy. And this is a little bit of a brighter pink. And it's really pretty, but I just really don't wear, I wear cream blushes, but I don't wear that color pink. I more wear more neutral color. So I'm going to pass this one on or sell it in a blog cell. This one is called Pink Shock, and I'm going to also pass this one on because I just don't wear that bread of blush. So I'm going to pass this on. This one is called Weekend Getaway, and this one's a little bit more of a, like, ooh, actually I really like this one. I'm gonna keep this one. This one's a little bit of a redder color, but I like the tone of it. It's a little less bright, so I'm gonna keep Weekend Getaway. And these are their casual lip and cheek colors. And then these are also the casual lip and cheek colors. Oh, yeah. This one is called Young at Heart. And it's a really pretty, like, brighter pink. I don't know if I've ever used these. And you can use them like lips or cheeks. I don't know. I guess I'll keep that one because that's pretty. And I would, I would wear that on my lips. But it's definitely a little bit bright for me for my cheeks. And then this color is called For Your Amusement. And I really like this color. It's like a light pinky coral. And that one I would definitely wear on my cheeks. So I'll keep that one, because that's a really pretty pale pink. Okay, so I have quite a few MAC palettes, and I kind of arranged some, because I took some of them home with me. So I'm gonna start with over here. This one I think is called Love Cloud. And this one is a light lavender color. Really beautiful, I don't really have anything like that. So that one's Love Cloud, and I'm keeping that. This next one right here is called Full of Joy. And this is a beautiful peachy pink color. Keeping that, I love it. This color, so this color right here is called Whole Lot of Love and this is a brighter magenta color. I don't wear this very often, but it is really, really pretty. I'd probably mix this with a lighter pink. And then this color right here is called Breezy. This was one of my first blushes. It's a little bit more of a cranberry blush with a nice sheen, so that one is Breezy. These two are ones that I probably don't wear too often. This next shade right here is called Peony Petal, and this is a bright, kind of purpley pink shade. Beautiful for the spring summertime, so that one is Peony Petal. So this one right here is Pink Swoon. It was another one of my first blushes, and that's this one right here. This one right here is Stay Pretty. This one's a little bit more of a warmer toned. Pink Swoon's a little bit more warmer toned than Stay Pretty. Okay, this next one right here is called Pincho Peach. And this is a really pretty matte pinky peach blush. And this one is I'm the One. And this is a more of a bubblegum, brighter pink. That one's I'm the One. Next in the like little ones that I have brought home, this is Emphasize Powder by MAC. This color right here is a favorite. This next one is Buff. It's one of my favorites. I have gone through a full one of these. It's a really pretty, very neutral, kind of rosy brown color. Great natural blush. So this one is Buff. This next one is very similar. This one is Cubic. I am a fan of these like really neutral 
blushes. This one's a little bit more cool toned. So that one is cubic. This next one is also very similar. This one is blush baby and it's a really pretty, just rosy brown. So as you can see, they're all just a tiny bit different, but it's a variation of like very neutral toned blushes. So this one is blush baby. This next one is mocha. This is a little bit darker in that same family. This is mocha. This one has a little bit more pinky red tones in it. So that one's mocha. This next one is Dame. This is another favorite of mine. And it's a really pretty pink. This one is a harder one to swatch. It's a little bit more of a stiffer formula. But it's a really pretty, pretty neutral mid-tone pink. So that one is Dame. Next spot, this one is Brit Wit. That was the other cream product I was telling you guys about. It's a very neutral, kind of like a brownie natural color. And these are two Makeup Geek shadows. This one is Spellbound and that one is Bliss. This next one is Well Dressed. This one I have used quite a bit of. It is a beautiful, just everyday pink. It's not too bright. It's a little bit on the lighter side, but it's really, really pretty. And it's very light, so it, you, it takes a lot to build it up. But if you are one that is kind of heavy handed with blush, you'll like this one because it's really easy to work with. So that one's Well Dressed. This one is Breath of Plum and this one, this next one is Breath of Plum. This is a darker plummy color. Really beautiful. Definitely one you want to be a little bit light handed with because it can get out of hand pretty quickly, but it's just a really beautiful dark plummy color. Breath of Plum. And then this last one is called Cantaloupe. This last one is Cantaloupe and it's just a really pretty burnt orange color. Great for fall. So that one's Cantaloupe. So this next one is in the color Melba. This is a fantastic blush. Everyone should own this in their collection. It is a very neutral kind of peachy orange color. Very easy to work with. Looks beautiful on the cheeks. This one is Melba. Love that one. All right, so this next one is Margin and this is a beautiful shimmery peach color. I swatched it right here. Absolutely beautiful. It's one of those that you don't need a um, highlight with because it's Seriously, very glowy. So that one is Margin. Spring Sheen is like the darker sister of Margin. Really beautiful. A little bit more of like a pinky golden reflex to it. So that one is Spring Sheen. That one is Margin. Really pretty. You can see there, it's very, very shimmery. What's this one? Plum Foolery. This next one is called Plum Foolery, which is like the biggest sister. <laughs> This one's a little bit darker and you can see it's got a little bit more red in it. So it's like little sister is margin, big middle sister is spring sheen, and the biggest sister is plum foolery. Again, really beautiful. Okay, this next one is called Peachy Keen, another shimmery peachy blush. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, these are so stunning. If you like shimmery peachy colors, you'll love this one. This one's Peachy Keen. And then the last one is Ambering Rose. These are all like cousins, sisters. It's like the Duggars up in here. This one is a more copper color. So these are all, this whole palette is kind of like, with the exception of Melba, they're all kind of variations of lightest to darker shimmery blushes. And that is my blush collection slash decluttering of my MAC blush and mineralized skin finish collection. So I am getting rid of a few, which I'm proud of myself because these are like the hardest things to get rid of. I'm getting rid of two cream blushes. I'm getting rid of four mineralized skin finishes and three powder blushes. So I will be selling those on a blog sale. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will link all my other decluttering videos down below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.